Here we have a math problem. Okay, let's go to the information. Given that f of x equals to 3 times x negative a times x negative b times x negative c, where a, b, and c are constants. When a less than x less than b, the value of f of x is positive. The graph of y equals to f of x in the xy plane contains a point r comma s, where r and s are constants. If s equals to 8, which of the following could be true? Okay, here we have three statements, and in all the three statements, we have the range of values for r, and r is the exponent of the point we have over here. Actually, the graph of the given function contains this point r comma s, and we have to find the range of values of r so that we can decide which of the following three statements is true. Okay, so to find the range of values r and uh, check the which, state, uh, which of the following three statements is true, I have to sketch the rough graph of the given function. So for that, I have to replace this f of x by y because there is an information in the question that is y equals to f of x. Okay, now let me write this function uh, at the, with uh, y at the place of f of x. Then I have y equals to 3 times x negative a times uh, x negative b times x negative c. Okay, to sketch the rough graph of this function, uh, what I need to do is I have to find the x intercept. So that means that where the graph crosses x-axis, for that, uh, what I need is I have to plug in y equals to 0. Since y equals to 0, the stuff we have over here, which is equivalent to y, can be equated to 0. Then I'm getting 3 times x negative a times x negative b times x negative c equals to 0. In this equation, uh, if I divide both sides by 3, I can get, get rid of this 3. So then I'm getting uh, x negative a times uh, x negative b times x negative c. Actually, this is the resulting equation after I have divided uh, both sides of this equation by 3. Okay, here the product of the three factors uh, equals to 0. So, the factor, the first factor may be 0 or the second factor x negative b may be 0 or the third factor x negative c may be 0. Okay, so here uh, from this equation x negative a equals to 0, I am getting x equals to a and here I am getting x equals to b and here I am getting x equals to c. So when I plug in y equals to 0 into the given function, I am getting three values for x, a, b, c. So these are called x-intercepts uh, of the function, given function. Okay, now let's consider the first x-intercept x equals to a. I got this x-intercept x equals to a from the first factor x negative a. What is the exponent of this factor x negative a? I don't find any exponent uh, for this factor x negative a. So we have to assume there is 1. So whenever there is no exponent, we have to assume there is an exponent 1. So is this exponent odd number or even number? So clearly it's an odd number. Since uh, 1 is an odd number, I mean the exponent we have over here for the factor x minus a, the graph must cross at x equals to a. So because of the odd exponent uh, we have for the factor x negative a. So let me draw over here. Let's consider the x-axis over here and uh, let's consider the value a on the x-axis. Since uh, the factor corresponding to this x equals to a, that is x minus a, is having odd exponent 1. So the graph must cross the x-axis at x equals to a. And here we have a question. What if we have even exponent something like 2, 4 or uh, 6 or something like that for the factor x negative a? What do we have to do? Okay, now let me draw x-axis again and let's consider the value a on the x-axis. Now, so the factor x negative a is the having even exponent 2. Then the graph will not cross the x-axis at x equals to a. The graph will touch the x-axis at x equals to a like this. Okay, anyway, so both a over here and here are x-intercepts. But here at this x-intercept, the graph crosses the x-axis. But at this x-intercept, the graph does not cross the x-axis. It touches x-axis. It depends on the exponent we have for the factor corresponding to this x equals to a. So the factor corresponding to this x equals to a is x negative a. If the exponent of this factor is the odd number 1, 3, 5, then the graph will cross the x-axis at x equals to a. If the exponent of this factor uh, is even number 2, 4 or 6, something like that, the graph will touch the x-axis at x equals to a. Okay, so based on the stuff we have discussed so far, uh, let's sketch a graph, uh, rough graph for the given function. Okay, let me do it. Here I have drawn uh, two xy planes. So I'm going to sketch two rough graphs for the given function. Okay, let me do it. Okay, here I have sketched two rough graphs for the given function. And each graph intersects x-axis at three places. Okay, let me mark uh, the place where uh, the graphs uh, intersects uh, x-axis. Okay, here each graph crosses x-axis at three places. Okay, let me say this is, a, I mean, the value of x over here is a. 
and the value of x over here is b and the value of x over here is c and the value of x over here is a the value of x over here is b and the value of x over here is c okay so now i have sketched two uh, rough graphs for the given function which one is appropriate for the given function so for that we have to check the condition we have over here that is when a less than x less than b the value of f of x is positive since y equals to f of x we can replace this f of x uh, is y so that is uh, when x takes a value between a and b so the value of y has to be positive okay now uh, let's verify this condition with the first graph okay now uh, let me take, consider the values of x between a and b in the first graph so when i take the value of x between a and b i have the part of the graph above the x axis over here all the values of y above the x axis are positive already we know that fact so if i consider any point on the part of the graph over here so the y coordinate will be positive so because of the part of the graph over here is above the uh, x axis so when x takes a value between a and b in the first graph the y coordinate over here is positive so it satisfies the first graph satisfies the condition we have discussed over here okay now let's verify the same condition for the second graph also okay now let me consider the values of x between a and b in the second graph so when i consider the value of x between a and b in the second graph the part of the graph is below the x axis and then we know that all the values of y below the x uh, x axis are negative so if i consider any point on the part of the graph over here the y coordinate uh, will be negative but the question says when x takes a value between a and b the y coordinate or the y value has to be positive so the second graph uh, does not satisfy the condition we have discussed over here so the appropriate graph for the given function is the first one we have drawn over here okay now let me erase the second graph and other stuff okay now uh, let me consider the point r comma s actually the according to the question the graph of the function over here contains this point r comma s and also in this point the y coordinate s the value of y coordinate s is given in the question itself that is 8 so we can plug in 8 for this s then the point r comma s becomes r comma 8 okay now uh, let's uh, verify the three statements over here so with the graph and uh, with the information we have over here okay now let me check the uh, let me take the first statement that is r is less than a already we know that r is the x coordinate of the point we have over here and uh, we have to remember we have this point on the graph of the given function okay so the x coordinate r has to be less than a so this is the first statement we have to verify this is true or false okay when r is less than a so then r must lie on the left side of a because here all the values on the left side of a must be less than a since the first statement says r is less than a r should be at somewhere else uh, to the left side of a so when we have r over here the point r comma s must be at somewhere else of the graph over here okay this part of the graph is uh, below the x axis so if i consider any point on the part of this graph the y coordinate will be negative so because uh, all the y values below the x axis are negative so at this point the y coordinate s must be negative but it conflicts the information we have over here so because the question says the y coordinate s is positive 8 but here the point r comma s the y coordinate s over here is negative since it conflicts the information we have over here so the first statement is not true so we can reject the first statement so r less than a is not true okay now let's verify the second statement the second statement says b less than r less than c that means r the x coordinate of the point over here lies between b and c okay now let's consider the x coordinate r between b and c over here so when i uh, consider r between b and c over here then we have the point r comma s at somewhere else uh, on the graph over here again this part of the graph is below the x axis so if i consider any point on this part of the graph the y coordinate will be negative so the y coordinate s over here must be negative again it conflicts the given information over here because the question says the y coordinate s over here is positive 8 but here we get negative value so the second statement is also false okay now uh, let's verify the third statement the third statement says r has to be greater than c okay so if r the x coordinate over here is greater than c then it has to lie to the right side of c because all the values on the right side of c must be greater than c since r is greater than c according to the third statement r should uh, should be at somewhere else over here to the right uh, right side of c so when i have r over here then the point r comma s must be at somewhere else of the graph over 
here and uh, this part of the graph is above the x-axis so if i consider any point on this part of the graph the y coordinate will be positive so the y coordinate s over here must also be positive so it satisfies the information we have over here so because this information says the y coordinate s is positive 8. so clearly the third statement uh, is uh, true so the correct answer choice for this one is option b